When it comes to trading ranges, most breakouts of trading ranges will fail. That is the rule of price action. But when we are trying to determine which breakout is a good opportunity to fade the breakout, meaning which we expect for price to pull back into trading range, we need to take into consideration a couple of factors. First, when we are talking about trading ranges, we need to make sure that the trading range structure is a healthy trading range and we need to take into consideration the overall bias. We can see that we have a trading range structure right in front of us and we can see that the price broke below this important key level and pulled back. Most breakouts of these trading ranges will fail. Price broke and it pulled back into trading range before eventually price pushed lower. Now we have a ranging market like here. We have a breakout to the downside. Price eventually pulled back into trading range. We have a breakout and the breakout eventually continue pushing lower. We're going to talk about what's going on here. And we have a last trading range structure for the day. We have a failed breakout right here that eventually pulled back into trading range. And we have a failed breakout to the upside that eventually pulled back into trading range as well. Price managed to, at the end of the day, before the close, continue working lower and the breakout was successful. Now we can see that this is how the ranging markets like to act. But there are a couple of rules that we need to take into consideration. And the first, I mentioned the health of a trading range because healthy trading range is swinging up and down, up and down between the key levels, the support and the resistance in full effect, in full distance, meaning the price is reaching the bottom and is reaching the top. The trading range looked healthy right from here point to this point, back from here to here, from here to here. And we can already see that right here, we are failing to reach the top of the trading range and we are only making it to the midline we can already see a little bit here that the price is failing to reach the resistance we barely made it with the tail but the body didn't manage to push higher so we can see that we have a this high is higher than this higher than this so these highs are lower than the previous one and this is telling me that there is a bearish imbalance in the market when i see micro double top right here that is barely making into middle of the trading range this is telling you there's probably a little bit more sellers than the buyers and once we see bearish imbalance like this i'm not going to be looking for price to pull back into trading range because the breakout may be eventually successful and take a look the bearish imbalance got confirmed even down here the price didn't even push it to the middle of the trading range it barely broke lower barely managed to creep its way back into the trading range on this support but eventually sold off because the bearish imbalance was strong and when you see this you're not really looking for price to pull back into trading range. You're not really looking for longs. But this was a tricky area because now we have conflicting patterns. Even though there is a bearish bias in the string range, there is a bearish imbalance. That doesn't mean that we're going to disregard the overall range rule buy low, sell high. We still cannot go short directly into the support, but we don't want to go long yet either. If we take a look at this first tricky situation that we got to witness, we have a new low right here. This is the lowest low of this entire move down. We have a first entry short pullback, second entry short. Notice we have a second entry short right here, which seems at the first glance like this would be a decent entry because price is pushing lower, but we have to follow the range rule and not go short directly into the bottom of the market. At the same time, we have a felt second entry short. The people who are trying to go short at the bottom of this range are looking at it Okay, buy low, sell high. So I'm going to buy low and I'm going to take my profits at the highs. But they don't understand that if there is a bearish imbalance present, they cannot just go along yet. Price hasn't managed to push above EMA yet. And this is the area on the chart where it's completely okay not to do anything. There are areas on the chart where the bias is unclear. You have two conflicting patterns working together and you have no idea what will happen it may work in both directions and when you feel like that you have to remember that you cannot take entry in this direction this is why all the early shorts got stopped out all the early longs got stopped out then there was a double trap but you cannot go short you at the low of the trading range they got stopped out as well and this was just entire mess this is why we have such a slow consolidating indecision throughout this area because people are expecting for most breakouts to fail and they're expecting to play the bearish imbalance but this entire area is not a safe area to take any entry so we just have to be patient you can see that this is a very tight micro trading range if i'm going to draw the lines right here this is basically a small little trading range like this and there is no high priority setup market eventually pushed lower confirming the overall bearish imbalance but we would initially expect it that the most breakouts will eventually work when it comes to bearish imbalance okay most breakouts will fail if it's a healthy trading range but once you see a bearish imbalance you're expecting for the breakout to push eventually this is why we're not really looking for fade the breakout just yet but when i'm looking at this we can 
have an idea that there may be a potential trend line something like this why didn't draw this trend line because the trend line i ended up having was trend line like this this was the trend line i ended up using the entire day i liked it because it fit nicely off of these lows and it got confirmed nicely right here this would let me to take in this fell second entry long the reason why i decided to start my trend line of this point and not this point right here it's because bigger patterns in trading ranges are not reliable and from this point of view we are still in a trading range the market hasn't really picked up and the downturn hasn't really started when i'm looking at this i'm just seeing a range like structure with a little bit of a bearish imbalance price is swinging up and down up and down ema is flat for multiple hours and this is not particularly strong downtrend so when i was watching this i wasn't playing this because this is too wide for trading range and i was mainly focusing on ranges on the shortened patterns on the shortened trend lines because i want to follow the trend line rule and we can see that the price strongly pushed above ema so now that we broke below we're pushing back above back into the support and we have a new low first entry short pull back second entry short failure notice we have a second entry short failure above this bar right here but as you already know this is a horrible doji bar but more importantly it is not touching the ema if i want to take reversal pattern i need to see bar the price to touch the exponential moving average because if there is a room you can eventually create a little pullback before you see it go where you thought it was gonna go and this is the first high priority setup for the day because the second entry short is now above ema so it's not high priority setup plus we broke out of this trading range so you expect for price to get at least a little bit above and you have the short-term uptrend first break of the short-term uptrend so i expect for price to create new extreme and this is a second entry long as well so not only this is a felt second entry short it's also a second entry long as well this is a nice bullish bar close above ema you expect new high to be formed you would have to ride this out but your stop loss go one tick below this single bar right here and it would have survived you just had to ride this out you have to sweat and eventually market will push higher and create new extreme now from this point on this is where the bearish imbalance started to be prevalent again because you would really expect for price to keep continuing pushing higher but it never happened we ended up in another consolidating structure and notice each new high is getting lower and lower than the previous one there's a strong bearish imbalance and there's a potential trend forming but this is still too sideways this is still too wide this is still looking like a range sideways structure so at this point on the safest bet for you is to just focus on the shortened pattern and try not to get chopped in this because this is extremely tight trading range and the same rules apply you want to buy low sell high but you guys can see if the ema gets in the middle of the price this is a congestion and we cannot take entry and for that reason i haven't marked any entries right here because this is all too stacked all too congested and really there is no high priority setup and we didn't have too many high priority setups today this is one of those days where you have to be extremely patient and you cannot force the entry this was my trade this is my first trade for the day and it ended up being losing trade it touched my order to the tick reverse on me stopped me out because i keep my stop loss one tick below the signal bar and it ended up working eventually where i thought it was going to and getting my scalp so I, I took a first losing trade on this trade right here i shouldn't have probably taken this because it was too sideways too tight of a trading range too much indecision but i looked at it as a triple bottom right here smaller trading range new low first entry short push above ema confirming the bullish momentum second entry short failure the big bullish bar really sold me ema holding price i really thought i was gonna create a quick easy scalp it almost did but it failed in the eventual work but then the market consolidated okay the market is consolidated we have a failed breakout with the break and a new low of the short and downtrend remember in trading ranges you're sticking to the shortened patterns shortened trend lines in tight ranges like this you are for sure sticking to extremely tight trend lines because you want to see clear break and a new extreme you don't want to follow a little bit wider patterns because you will not get bounce of these trend lines you know these shortened trend lines they are not reliable in these tight ranges you are just focusing on buy low sell high scalp you're not even interested in looking for entries of the trend lines we have a failed breakout to the downside the reason why this is not the greatest entry of course the signal bar is way too big so the risk to reward ratio is gigantic but from the price action perspective i'm still taking into consideration the overall imbalance we still keep making lower highs lower lows there's still potential downtrend starting the way you trade into trading range you're most likely going to break to the downside so we traded down into this range we broke the downside we traded down into this trading range we broke the downside even though we traded up temporarily the bigger move was down okay and same thing right here if i'm if i zoom out like this we trade down into this trading range right here and you guys can see we eventually push lower so 
always stick with the overall bias because you will stay on the right side of the market if you do. Now price created new low and a first entry short, second entry short with the break getting you high indicated that the uptrend is no longer in control. You're selling high, but this bar is way too big. It's in the middle of this range and I really don't like taking any entry at this point on. This is kind of like guessing and problem with these tight trading ranges, you never know when you're going to get stopped out just to see go where you thought it was gonna go, just like added stopped out right here. There can be so many fake outs. It's really better off to just sit. Price eventually broke to the downside, but remember, we're not fading the breakout because the overall bias is still better. So if anything, we are looking for price to eventually broke to the downside. We had a new high right here and we have a first entry long pullback, second entry long failure which is tempting and we even had lower high and you guys can see this is a breakout pullback pattern EMA is holding. So this is not a bad entry right here. This felt second entry long or this lower high. I just feel it's a little bit too early. It's a little bit too sideways here and not the cleanest high probability setup. But the idea here is correct. You're expecting for price to eventually push lower. The fact that this is a breakout pullback pattern and the resistance that acts as a support is now holding price quite a good sign of bearish momentum price eventually pushed lower and now it is clear that there is a downtrend starting so when i saw this this is where i started remember i didn't really like this pattern right here this is why the patterns are not that reliable and you would have a break and couple legs to a new extreme and we have a reversal pattern right here and we're going to talk about that just remember because some of the traders were playing this downtrend and i want to talk about that reversal pattern but what i ended up having was this downtrend right here because this was a range and I believe that the downtrend started a little bit later than right from the very beginning because at the very, very beginning we were playing range. The downtrend took time to develop and I like this little bit of a flatter channel that really fits nicely off the bottom and we even had a bigger channel eventually probably in play. So as the price is right now pushing lower, we are clearly having a bearish bias, bearish downtrend. So a high priority setup is going to be a two-legged pullback at the key entry point and we have a new low first entry short pullback, second entry short, but it's far away from EMA, I cannot take it. You can see what would have happened, actually would have survived barely. And then we have a double trap, but it's not touching the EMA, but that's not that big of a deal because the downtrend is starting to be really strong. And this short term trend line needs to get new extreme, needs to get new low. But this bar is really doji with the bullish body, it's not even doji with the bearish body, it's really uh, bullish body doji, so you cannot make a case for going short here as well. So you just have to sit here without any setup, and let the price watch go without you. Price is a little bit stalling, created a new low, first entry short, short pullback above EMA, second entry short failure. This would be a reversal pattern. First of all, why I'm not drawing pattern downtrend, excuse me, uptrend wide like this? Because the bigger pattern is down and when I'm looking at the bullish corrections, I'm sticking with the tight channels because this is a correction and this is not the new trend in itself. This correction is still part of this bigger one, okay? But even let's say you saw it as reversal pattern. So when I was watching this, the downtrend was too strong for me to go long and I didn't really like going long yet at this point on. So there is no high probability setup just yet because if you take a look at the right side of the chart like this, if I'm even gonna delete this trend line, take a look at the entire structure. Do you think that this tiny little move, this tiny little reversal pattern is really even if I zoom out like this, it puts things into perspective. It's really strong enough to reverse this entire price action to push higher. It's really not that strong of a move. So the overall bias is still bearish. We have a bearish downtrend present. So we're looking for sell opportunities because we are at the exponential moving average. This is the key entry point. But notice the story for the day, congestion. EMA is getting in the middle of these bars. We are getting stacked. There was a matching high pattern breakout pullback pattern we get a low high entry but it was a little bit too stacked and then we had a felt second entry long new high first entry long pullback second entry long failure and a new low first entry short second entry short for that reason i marked it because it was extremely tempting trade to take but if you take a look how ema is exactly in the middle of these bars how stacked this is this is really not the cleanest entry you would like to see. Great thing about this is a breakout pullback pattern, additional way to enter congestion, and you're entering the congestion with the overall bias, which is bearish. So you have a second entry short and a first entry long, second entry long, great bearish bar that closed below EMA. For that reason, I can see it as aggressive entry, but the congestion is always not great to see market cat pushing lower, break new extreme, and the price is reversing. Now, once again, 
Are we looking for a reversal pattern? We're not because we have a strong downtrend that is in play and these are just short term corrections that we wait for to play out and then to jump on board. So once we have a break of this uptrend, new extreme formed, we can see that the price made its way to the key entry point. This trend line is very strong and price managed to confirm this trend line right here. And this is my second trade for the day, new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure. Big bearish bar, close below EMA. It is with the direction of overall downtrend. It is off the key entry point, close below EMA. Great confirmation of momentum. This is price action wise, great entry that makes sense. And price managed to create quick, easy push down. Now the bias is still bearish, the trend is still in play, so we're not complicating it. We're looking for second entry shorts or felt second entry long. We have a lower high right here, which was really tempting. And if you took it, honestly, it's not a bad entry at all because you can reset the count here a little bit and treat it as a new high first entry long pullback, second entry long failure. So definitely not a bad trade. But since this high is really lower than this, and this was a technical sec felt second entry long, I consider it just a lower high and once you're taking lower high after reversal pattern you really want it to be close to this reversal pattern we already moved quite a bit down so this was a little bit concerning but the bias is so bearish that you cannot go wrong too much of taking short so if you took this trade definitely not a bad trade and we had a new low first entry short second entry short notice first leg pullback second leg two leg a pullback two key entry points ema short and downtrend Great second entry short. The signal bar is horrible. This was my second trade for the day, but I didn't enter it on this chart right here because this chart is unenterable. This is 2000 tick chart. I took this trade on a 2500 tick chart because I was looking at 2000 tick chart and I didn't like it there. And then I managed to take a look at 2500 tick chart and at the very last second, I managed to catch the trade because once price was pushing lower, I dropped, I chased it a little bit. I dropped my limit order. Uh, one take further as a stop order entry price managed to fill me and then it created a scalp but on a 2500 tick chart it looks much cleaner the signal bar is really better to enter and this is a two-legged pullback at the key entry point so i took this trade here however on this chart right here this is unenterable because there's a huge bullish stim at the bottom price created another second entry short but this time it is a doji above exponential moving average. You don't want to take short above EMA while it's a doji. And at the time, it's also getting a little bit wedgy. Take a look that this key level is holding and this key entry point is holding and there is a wedge pattern forming. So there is not enough room. But if I take a look at the 2500 tick chart again, we can see that this second entry short looks much better. Bearish bar, new low, first entry short, second entry short. So if you took it on this chart, I can definitely see why. On this chart right here, however, I really don't like this entry, but bias is still so bearish that the idea here is good to be looking for shorts. Price strongly pushed higher. And remember, I'm going to zoom out to remind myself the overall bias. This is just a first break of this entire downtrend working lower. So in, according to price action rules, I expect to get a new extreme, new low. Okay, bigger patterns, they may take time to develop when it comes to corrections. So you may not get new extreme right after such a quick break, but I'm still not looking to go long just yet. I wanna see a proven trend in opposite direction if I wanna go long and I wanna see break a new extreme. We don't have a new extreme yet. So once we have a micro double top and noticed, break, attempt to create new high and micro double top, break, attempt to create new high and almost micro double top. It's only double top because there's a bigger downtrend in play and that's okay. These short-term uptrends are part of the bigger downtrend. Price is so weak that it cannot even manage to create new extreme. If you get double top, that is considered as an attempt for new extreme and traders consider this as an uptrend being over and you can look for shorts. For that reason, once you get a double top right here, you have a lower high here that push below EMA, great bearish reversal bar, and you still expect for price to create a new low. This was an outside reversal bar that closed on its very low. I almost ended this, but the way we close lower, this bar looked like it's going to close halfway into this bullish bar. This would have been great, but I kept pushing lower, kept pushing lower, and it ended up being outside reversal bar engulfing, and it closed quite at its low. A little bit aggressive to take, but you know, price action wise, perfect entry. I was probably a little bit too careful now watching back. This is a great entry. You expect for price to push to the downside, uptrend played out, and the overall bias remains bearish. Push higher, break. Attempt to create new extreme, EMA is in the middle of these bars, a lot of congestion, a lot of stems. And once again, not that many setups today. This was one of those days where you have to just be patient, otherwise you get chopped to pieces. Market kept pushing lower, 
break to the downside but we already talked about it we don't want to be fading the breakout because overall bias is bearish even though we have a break and a new low of this entire bigger downtrend you guys can see that it, it eventually would have worked because we would have drawn the shortened downtrend when we are fading the breakout we need to make sure that the downtrend gets new extreme as well break new low so we know it's now safe to buy but i would really stick still with the overall bias but here we have a strong push above EMA, confirming bullish momentum, and we have a first entry short, second entry short failure. This is a reversal pattern, and this is much safer entry than this. This is a little bit bottom pick, but once price pushes above EMA, confirms the bullish momentum, this is much better and safer entry. Look at this big bullish bar. Two key entry points are holding not one, trend line and EMA. Perfect price action setup. This is the best setup of the day. Break new extreme and great runner on this trade you guys can see perfect trend line rule after new extreme is formed we expect reversal felt breakout and then you're expecting felt second entry long but by the time you get a felt second entry long reversal pattern with the overall direction of a trend you're already way too down far away from ema i don't like this trade and price eventually pushed into close break couple likes to a new extreme and a correction and i want to briefly talk about this setup because i got a question why it is safe to take this reversal pattern and it's not safe to take this reversal pattern because they look very similar and the reason is quite simple if i take a look at this structure and, and this pattern at this point on this is a downtrend okay this is what i was seeing something like this let's say it doesn't have to be perfect i'm just going to keep it like this i was looking at this so from this point of view we are still playing the bearish downtrend and this is trying to be a reversal pattern is supposed to predict the trend reversal without break at a new extreme okay but this reversal pattern form after price created break here attempt to create new low by additional push to a new extreme so finally we created a new extreme which tells us that it's time for correction or reversal pushed above ema and more importantly We've been in this trading range for such a long time. We've been four hours because somewhere around here the trading range started and we're swinging up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, and up and down. So this long right here formed during a bearish condition. This long right here formed after the bearish downtrend played out and we are in trading range for four hours. So at this point on, it is good enough indication that the trend is starting to lose steam. We are just going sideways and we're switching the rules here to a range like structure while we are focusing more on the short. So this is why this entry is much better. Range structure, four hours and the downtrend played out here. No trading range prior and just a downtrend move down. I will talk to you next time.